A major limitation of conventional linear array echoendoscopes is the limited endoscopic view that precludes visualization of maneuvers such as intubation that carries a serious risk of perforation. Also, key steps such as stent deployment cannot be visualized well, resulting in adverse events such as bleeding and stent migration. The new Fujifilm EG740UT echoendoscope has a distal end that has been uniquely reconfigured with changes made to the positioning of the camera lens, transducer, and instrument channel outlet, which result in increased visibility of the treatment devices and therapy being undertaken, and most importantly, an unimpeded view of the GI tract. Also, the thin insertion tube diameter with working channel 4mm enables seamless passage of the large caliber accessories to perform therapeutic interventions. In this Florida Live educational video, we will present four cases illustrating ductal decompression, drainage procedures, and luminal anastomosis to illustrate the uniqueness of the Fujifilm EG740 UT echoendoscope for performing therapeutic interventions. The 66-year-old patient with pancreatic head cancer presented with gastric outlet obstruction secondary to duodenal stenosis. The Fujifilm EG740UT echoendoscope was advanced across the cricopharyngeus and into the esophagus, and then across the G-junction to the stomach. Note the excellent endoscopic view at intubation, which otherwise is not possible with standard linear array echoendoscopes. This degree of endoscopic vision will preclude inadvertent tear or perforation in patients with large cervical osteophytes or luminal cancer. The echoendoscope was then advanced via the pylorus, and a malignant stenosis was identified at the apex of the duodenal bulb. After placing a catheter across the stricture into the proximal jejunum, saline mixed with contrast and methylene blue was infused into the small bowel. A luminoposing metal stent was then introduced into the 4mm instrument channel and the catheter tip could be easily visualised on endoscopic view. The jejunal loop was easily identified from the stomach on EUS and also confirmed by fluoroscopic view. After identifying an optimal jejunal loop, the distal flange of a 20mm diameter by 10mm saddle length luminoposing metal stent was then deployed within the jejunum and the proximal flange was released into the stomach on endoscopic view to create a gastrojejunostomy rather than a blind intrachannel deployment. The release mechanism was well visualised in real time and the luminoposing metal stent could be seen unhindered post-deployment. A 57-year-old male presented with obstructive jaundice. At EUS, he was found to have a 5cm hypoechoic mass in the pancreatic head causing biliary obstruction. Fine needle biopsy using a 22-gauge FNB needle revealed this to be a neuroendocrine tumour. At ERCP, intraductal access could not be obtained as the mass had caused complete ductal obstruction. Therefore, EUS guided Biliary drainage was attempted using an EG740UT echoendoscope. Once an adequate window was identified at EUS for placement of the luminoposing metal stent, on endoscopic view, a corresponding optimal location was identified in the duodenal bulb. Note that the uniquely positioned camera lens enables unhindered forward endoscopic view. After puncturing the common bile duct and releasing the distal flange, the proximal flange was released on endoscopic view and safe placement was confirmed by the rapid drainage of black bile. Please appreciate the unhindered view of the lambs during deployment and its endoscopic view post-deployment. Using an ERCP cannula, a clangiogram was obtained as one would by using a standard gastroscope. In the 63-year-old non-surgical patient with acute cholecystitis, an EOS-guided gallbladder drainage was attempted. An optimal site was identified in the gastric antrum to avoid placing the lambs at the pyloric opening. Once the gallbladder was punctured and the distal flange of the lambs was released, 
the proximal flange of the lambs was released, and once again, the uniquely designed forward viewing optics of the EG740 UT echoendoscope provided unhindered view of the lambs at deployment and post deployment. In this 51 year old patient with an acute necrotic collection, an US guided drainage was undertaken due to ongoing severe sepsis. In order to facilitate better drainage, an optimal site was identified in the distal stomach on endoscopic view. After puncturing the collection with an electroquarter enhanced delivery system, a 20mm diameter lumen opposing metal stent was deployed. Note the excellent intra procedural endoscopic view during stent deployment and of the lambs post deployment. The position of the instrument channel in relation to the camera lens enables the seamless performance of the intervention, such as irrigation of the necrotic cavity and subsequent dilation to perform direct access endoscopic necrosectomy. In this Florida Live educational video, we have demonstrated four cases of complex therapeutic interventions undertaken using the novel EG740 UT therapeutic echoendoscope. To know more about the unique capabilities of the echoendoscope, please attend the Fujifilm Symposium on August 23, 2024 at Florida Live Endoscopy, where Professor Takao Itoi will discuss this game-changing innovation in therapeutic endoscopy. In my opinion, an exceptional meeting, very uh, educative uh, with excellent lectures, excellent faculty and uh, excellent cases. Premier life course in the United States and one of the best worldwide.